I think, I think she could be back for sure. Because I think what you're right. I mean, Jill Zarin's back now. I don't, you know, I know there, I, I don't know. I mean, but maybe because I, I mean, really when it comes down to it, she says she was, Kelly says she was fired because she's a Trump supporter and she wore the drunk wives matter hat, right? Which she was fined for. Yeah. She was fined for. Uh, so yeah, she'll probably be back because I think, I guess in the grand scheme of things, right? I, I mean, mean, we have lots of people doing things like that and having the same political views as her, who cares? But I mean, I, you know, now speaking of girls trip, someone who is on girls trip, but needs to get her ass back here because she's got a lot of things to do in the U S like go on tour is the one, the only miss candy gal, candy gal, candy gal. I am so proud of candy gal. She continues to slay with her music. Um, she's going on tour guys. Uh, Candace Dillard tour, and I'm sure everyone's rolling their eyes. They're like, God, you're going from Kelly Dodd to Candace Dillard. Like, where are we going here, guys? I am so excited about this. So she's partnered with City Winery. She's doing a multi-city tour. You know, she's going to be Philadelphia, D.C., Atlanta, mostly all East Coast locations, New and York. which one are we going to, Sarah? <gasps> well, I think we should go to the New York City show. And tickets just went on sale this past Friday. What so New York City show? There isn't one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, there's not. We'd have to hit Washington, D.C. All right. So would you like to go to that? I'm being really serious. Um, yeah, let me, okay. you're going to have to get on an airplane though. What weekend is BravoCon? The 14th, 15th, 16th. Okay. So October 19th, she's in Philly, October 20th, October she's in 19th. Chicago. Actually, maybe Chicago would be good. Cause that's kind of halfway for you. And me. I'll go to any, I'll go anywhere if you go. And then uh, I you listen, we, think about it. Yeah, I would do that. Think about it. First of all, we have to get tickets sooner than later. Second of all, you know, we do have an obligation here to these people to give like a, a, a you know, I mean, I go to Sonia Morgan's thing and I tell it. everyone that I didn't like it. And everyone like, you know, now there's that there's a lot of chaos on that, too. I God, there's so much drama in my life. Um, But the point is we should go. So I'm not the one. I mean, I'll get on a plane tomorrow. So you tell me. Philly, Chicago, Nashville, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., all in October. I've actually never been to Atlanta or Nashville, so I'm thinking maybe that we go there. Think of how, like, so fun. just think of, like, Candy Gal on stage. Like, this is iconic. I'm sorry. Like, these outfits. The guys, are, Candace's music is good. I'm sorry. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's really, really good. I think she's going to put on a really great show. I picture it being, like... Just a little lounge singer, like a little pop culture. You and know, I'm sure the husband juror is going to be there. We'll have some Chris oh, Bassett love, I love time. I, I don't know, Sarah, you better think about coming. I think, I think we should do Atlanta because I think if we go to Atlanta, we're probably going to get, you know, Miss Bailey might be there. Um, we might, you know what I mean? I feel like Marlo might show up. Like we might get some of the, we might get some of the cross. So I think if we go to Nashville. We're not going to get any crossover. No, like DC, the the gals will be there, you know. That's true. We got it. We so we got to do DC or um Atlanta. All right. Well, we'll either touch. I mean, I, I literally almost bought tickets the other day, and then like I stepped away from it. And I was like, I need to figure this out because I I do. Can I tell you? I can't tell you how many. I don't even want to talk about it. It's really awful. I've thrown like thousands of dollars probably in the toilet this summer of tickets I've had in like New York City. And just things that I just didn't go didn't to. didn't go? Why didn't no. you really tell them? I know. It sounds easy, but it never works out that way. It's awful. I'm horrible. Please don't judge me. I'm just, I'm an awful person. Um, so let's, so Candy Gal, so you pull yourself together. Now, in other news, I have to tell you, I was reading this the other day. Lisa Rinna is disappointed in the tribute that they gave to Lois. Mm, did you hear about this like she feels what was it really like did you read anything about it like she feels that Lois was such a part of the show they didn't spend enough time I have some opinions on this because I actually made a comment on this when that episode aired but how do you feel about this and, well, and, and what is Rena really saying what she should have gotten more airtime 
Lena is saying um, it's very disappointing considered over the years, Lois, you know, was featured quite often. And Rena takes a dig at the network and basically says, we spent three episodes on the whole, um, this is dark, what she's, you know, which of course turned right. out to be a huge fucking nothing burger, right? Which was, um, oh, um, you know, Sut what Sutton allegedly said something dark to Crystal, you know, that was referring to, was this something racist, right? Like leading us to believe that Sutton dropped an N-bomb, like some, you know, something big. Of course, we find out there's absolutely nothing there. And so Rena is basically saying, oh, great. We spent three episodes on something stupid while Lois got a quick little tribute. You know, one little measly episode, we talked about her and remembered her and that was it. And over the years, you know, Lois brought the audience so much joy, was on, was dancing. None of that was really honored. Thoughts? Well, I believe I talked about it on this show before when it happened and I made a comment that was like the exact opposite, actually. I feel, look, I'm not taking, I mean, we've all lost people. I'm not taking anything away from Lisa Rinna or Lois or the fact that, I mean, you know, losing a mother is a, a, such a hard thing. I had the exact opposite reaction. And I do think I talked about it on this show. Like, I think we lost a lot of different mothers throughout the time on the show. I mean, Lois was part of the show, but if you really think about it, Lois wasn't on the show as much as Mama D in Dallas, Mart Sr. in New Jersey. I even think like Tinsley's Dale. I mean, Lois was a, a, a thing. I just thought, I thought they did more for Lois. And those women are alive. I just thought they did more for Lois than some other people that we've lost. Like, I didn't really think it was less. I almost thought it was people, more. A lot of people agree with you. A lot of really? people. Really? Yeah. yeah. What so do they I, say? Like, they did a lot for Lois? Yeah, a lot of people feel like they did a really nice tribute. They toasted her at one point. You know, of course, Lois loved birds. We shot, we saw throughout people wearing birds as a tribute to her. Um, there were confessionals that Renna talked about Lois. Obviously, people were very sensitive to how Renna was feeling when they were in Mexico. I mean, people feel like they talked a lot about Lois. And, and not for other things, like even like where she's outside or something happens and in, 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 in Harry's like, that's Lois. I mean, this is editing. They could edit like a one line sentence from Harry Hamlin out mentioning Lois and it's in there. I don't know. I mean, this is just, and I really think, I don't know what episode I said it on. If you go back, I said, I thought this was like, it was almost more, I thought, than they did for some other people. That's just my feeling. I understand what Rena's saying, but I think she's off base. I think mm -hmm. she's off base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think she's off so, base on that one. Anyway, that was a little bit of tea, but you know, it's been an interesting month or so for Rena, you know, with all the, you know, the posts, them taken down, who knows, maybe she's beefing a little bit behind the scenes with production. And by the way, Rena, a lot,